What's up, everyone? How are we doing today? We are listening to some royalty-free music to talk about the royals because the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla, uh, who um, Diana stands to the front. So yeah, England's a country. They have a monarchy. They have a king. Kind of a monarchy that's low-key ruined the whole world. They have a sick Netflix show. And... For people in the UK, this is their king. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure the king could do whatever he wants, like an unchecked power. But of course, in a civilized 21st century society, such as the one we find ourselves in today, uh, I guess the king just kind of balls out like Kim Jong-un, but like not a dictator. A monarchy is confusing. The more I think about the monarchy and the king as a figurehead, I'm like, okay, the president is just a king of sorts that comes and goes for four years. But I'm also really glad that we don't have a king. Well, that's the whole reason our country was created, right? That and to find spices, which were evidently never used. Anyways, today I'm going to be watching the royal coronation and a bunch of coverage around it. Because the tea is like, <laughs> I know very little about the reality of the monarchy in, in England. And I'm a big fan of the show, The Crown. Like that show is really good. And so I personally don't think there should be a monarchy like in real life IRL. But LOL, like it makes for a good Netflix show. Back when Trump was president, everything was like, whoa, this feels like a tv show like who's writing the america show but they literally have a netflix show and queer culture is like full of princess diana fans we cannot forget that ice spice literally just put out a song called princess diana and it's really good shout out to princess die but yeah um monarchies aren't cute so today i want to just see this is a three-hour coronation and there's not a chance I'm watching it the whole way through. But I want to like skip to the major parts. So I kind of want to maybe just search for some highlights. Great. The coronation ceremony in four minutes. Should we do the 10 minute or the four minute? Let's do the 10 minute. The king and queen. The king and queen or queen consul as she is for the next hour or so. <sighs> Why did America have to lose the cool accent? Like how cool would it be if like everybody right was talking like this but when i have this accent i have a different name my name's tommy travel through that box that he's sitting in has to be worth like what 10 million dollars 20 million dollars we got gold lace horse we got for what dude through the archway at the front of buckingham palace jubilee state like he should just be riding a tesla or like a, a fiat or something coach Buckingham Palace this morning update. Also, those poor horses, like, that's kind of cool that, like, you know, they're kind of in that cavalry, so to speak. The horses, think about the horses. The they don't want to pull that Camilla and that Charles. Page like. To reflect the fact she is now queen rather than queen consort. Did they? Yes, okay. they did. Okay. Wait, did they just say Camilla is queen and not queen consort? I thought that every partner of the royal person was automatically consort. But I don't know what consort means. Hey Siri, what does consort mean? Consort, a small group of musicians performing together, typically playing instrumental music of the Renaissance period. Oh, okay, here we go. Earlier, late 16th century meaning. Uh, consort, noun, a wife, husband, or companion, in particular the spouse of, spouse of a reigning monarch. But they just said she's not consort? What? fact she is now queen rather than queen consort huh did they yes okay. they did okay. camilla w riz charles so hard that she's queen of and in the liturgy they're all like y'all she took off the consort like she literally like dommed charles okay. as i even just scratched the surface of british royal culture like it's feeling very much to me like in america like the uh more conservative side of things like you know the tradition the sort of um yeah the tradition the sort of like uncomfortable whitewashing of like elitist culture and like taxes is a big part of it that's why we left them imagine like paying taxes on things and then you see this like gold lace horse a little carry someone across the, right to the gate. No. 
Do you guys watch The Crown? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, I'm going to just pretend that I'm watching The Crown. That'll make this ethically a lot easier for me. <laughs> Maybe until later. Uh, people, these people Boris Johnson don't... just yep. arriving at the Abbey as we speak. How is Boris Johnson real? Like, him and Donald Trump are twins and they were both ruling two of the most powerful countries on Earth at the same time. And they're both, like, isolationist. Like, they're both... They're both just like <laughs> Theresa May. Gosh, we've had a lot of prime ministers, haven't we, in the last few years? We really I feel like the British Parliament should have its own reality show. Brooks and Mike Tindall, Prince, Prince Harry is there. Have you guys heard the audiobook snippets from Prince Harry's book? My penis was oscillating between extremely yeah. sensitive Harry, the Duke of Sussex and borderline traumatized. The last place I wanted to be was Frost Nipperstown. I've been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? It works, Harry. Trust me. It works, Harry. Trust me. You want me to put that on my todger? It me through time. Oh my god. This must be so uncomfortable. To you, Eduardo, and let's not forget, this is all a Christian... This is Christian mingles right here. I'm weak how Camilla's in the very front, like, she's fully invading the monarchy. That orchestra hits, though. Can we just have, like, orchestra live streams instead of a coronation? Camilla is grinning. There are the crowns. Okay, how much are the crowns? That's what I want to know. Okay. Um, so these crowns are about three to five billion pounds each. I don't know how anyone could lift that. Um, David, we're looking at the crowns now. We've got our first glimpse of the regalia actually on the altar. I just know it's so hot in there and it probably like smells like sewage. <laughs> to be placed on the king and queen. Charles is so old. How old is Charles? He's 74. Okay, wait. How old is Biden? 80. Wow. King Charles is six years younger than Biden. I feel like waiting 74 years to become king, like, you, at that point, would you even want to be king? Like, at 74, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm clocking out. Will you solemnly... The Bible cringe. I think, like, it's cool to connect history to the present, but they've destroyed and decimated so many good things that like it's so hard to watch this and like process that this is real like this this is a actual institution that's not just like a hamilton musical and in the 21st century like what in this economy a king in this economy like here's my pitch sharks for the for the crown okay take away all the gold sell all the gold sell the four billion dollar uh crown whatever strip it down to the bare basics get an acoustic set like almost like monastery vibes like i think that's the only way that the monarchy could like continue and uphold some sort of dignity i'm seeking the simple life for 10 percent. oh my god i would love to see paris and nicole be in the royal guard for a day basically what i'm saying is i feel like the only way the monarchy could go forward with public like respect across the board is to like basically become like monks i think we need the monarchy to like reject all the pomp and circumstance if they're gonna play the spiritual card the religion card that's not really gonna work in this day and age i feel like i feel like it should probably all just sort of go towards the public anyways but if they were looking for a revamp if they were looking for a remodel monks because the thing in the crown that they always say is like oh, we're an ideal for people to strive towards. And, like, nobody really in this day wants to strive towards, like, owning a $4 billion crown. You know, people want to strive towards having, like, inner peace and, like, uplifting relationships and shows to binge at the end of the night. But here we are, hand on the, hand on the bibble. Laws and customs. I solemnly... Also, LOL, do you guys remember there was this clip of Charles freaking out over a pen? Oh, God, I hate this. King Charles seen expressing his frustration over a leaky pen. I'm just Is it September 12th? 13th, sir. Oh, God, it broke it. 
13. Yes, sir. Oh, God, I hate this. I got bad this bloody thing. Bruh, look at your phone. Do you have a phone? Do you know that phones exist? You could look at the date on it. Has the time and the date? The time and the date? Well, it was like after his mother's death, so I guess he was probably sensitive in general sensitive. but if you guys have watched the crown they portray him as a very sort of sensitive like theater kid and um <laughs> me but <laughs> they portray him as me no um but i guess he's just a really like sensitive dude will you to your power cause law and justice in mercy and mercy do you promise to spend billions of pounds on things that no one needs in the laws of god and the true profession of the gospel the laws of god i feel like i'm watching game of thrones will you god. to the utmost of your power maintain in the united i wonder how hot it is in there are people sweating or is it like ac reformed religion i feel like gold would want ac why is this lady holding a sword and this scene is gonna hit on the crown so help me god Why did he just kiss the Bible? Like, we don't need to see all that. I'm so curious, like, are these people actually religious? Or is this, like, just the... Uh, the template? Uphold and maintain... Uphold and maintain... The said enactments to the best of my powers according to law. Charles is spitting bars. Wait, let's go back. I'm gonna speed that up and put a beat under it. Hold on. Let's do 1.75. It's not a Drake-type beat. It's like a trap-type beat that we need. Here we go. In the presence of God, the first testify and declare that I am a faithful prophet. Woo! Charles got the bars. That I will, according to the true intent Woo. of the enactments which secure the Protestant succession to the throne, uphold and maintain the said enactments to the best of my powers. Okay! Yo, that was gas, Charles. That was gas. Let's but just watch the whole so thing on 1.75 at this point. Like, it's not going to get any more entertaining. And to desire that ye might be filled, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all people. Okay, boring, boring. According Everyone's to outfits are, are snatched, though. Like, I love the hats and all the different colors. Glorious power. All the dudes in black suits, I'm like, okay, makes sense. I wonder if James Bond is there. Even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image? Sins, blood, yada, yada, yada. We've all heard it all before. Okay, dude, now we're going to undress you on uh, international TV. Here we go. Charles is like, no, I don't want that one. The changing room in the church? LOL. This is the best changing room music you could ever ask for. You know there's a drone in that church just buzzing around. Charles is like, oh my god, you guys. God save the king. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Well that was the that was the coronation. I'm glad I didn't watch three hours of it. <laughs> Cause that was boring. But Charles did spit some bars. So now I kinda wanna go and watch some coverage of how people in london are feeling about the coronation this is kind of going to give us some insight into like what we might experience if we lived there devo again you because this dude is king now how likable can you be when you run like a destructive like awful institution <laughs> What's up, Canada? Those are your gates right there. They completely redid them for the coronation. You see all the preparations are going oh, on. Oh, yeah. King Charles rules Canada, too, now. Uh, the coronation happening on May 6th. Do you care or don't you? I don't. I don't think it, make, it makes a difference in my life. Right? Like, why does a king... Um, why does a king need to exist? Is my question. Like, yo, like, we need to get rid of the monarchy. To see the reaction to Prince Harry being there. I can't comment one way or the other. You know, that's... It's a family thing. Uh, it's kind of endearing to see, like, the love people have for the royals. Like, our Car like the Kardashians are our royals. And it's like, you know, people are just going to be fans or not. But the Kardashians aren't taking our money. Involuntarily, at least. Americans in London. I think that lately there's been a lot of... 
lot of like tea and schema going on with the monarch and it, there's a lack of celebration um, that really unites other countries to participate and that's why like I rather like put, put my energy and my commitment towards what's going on in our country. Are you okay America represent? I'd say I'm team Harry and Megan. Yeah. Just yeah me too like they moved to california like friends with oprah like they're vibing it's also like the monarchy is creepy to me because it feels like these people who are in the monarchy like harry like prince whatever william like they obviously were born into it without a choice and there's so much pressure to stay there that it's almost like yes you're in charge like i guess if you're the king or like a prince like you're in charge, but like you literally have no control over your life. So your taxes are literally going towards like, in a way, keeping people prisoner behind like golden bars. And like, what good is like a golden Florida Lee if you also don't have any freedom? The whole thing is just cringe. And like, I wonder how Ted Lasso feels about King Charles. Air. I'll be working, but I'll be keeping my eye on it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever seen one. So be interesting to see what it's going to be like. And your thoughts on King Charles? He's had a bit of a weight, hasn't he? I'd rather have William, but we've got what we've got, haven't we? So. What? He's a bit of a what? I'd rather have thoughts on King Charles. He's had a bit of a weight, hasn't he? A bit of a white eye? Okay. I'd rather, what does I'd rather that have mean? William, but. Yeah, it is super meaningless. Um, this is interesting. During the coronation, there's like an opportunity to pledge your allegiance to the king. People are being invited to pay tribute to the new king at his coronation ceremony. So what exactly are the public being invited to do? The Archbishop of Canterbury will invite people to swear allegiance to the new monarch. The idea behind the pledge is to make the coronation more inclusive. In the past, only the aristocracy has been asked to pledge allegiance to the king. King Charles's ceremony will also be the first- Oh, that's so flattering. Uh, you you want me to pledge my allegiance to you? Like, thank you. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. To include, if I was there, I would pledge allegiance to like Nicki Minaj. If they really wanted to modernize the monarchy, they'd do like a TikTok challenge as a pledge of allegiance to Charles. Like, if I was actually at the ceremony. <laughs> on that crown yeah dog and then it'd go viral and people would want to pledge their allegiance to him or at least i would almost like a prayer i can, I can imagine saying it out loud there but is it really realistic to expect people to say it in their in their tv lounges in their living room sitting, I mean, sitting on their sofa well, having a seems, cup of tea it's, it's very un-british i mean we don't <laughs> do pledges of allegiance we're not, we're not like america where every school day starts with the pledge of allegiance to the flag we're not like that and it is quite formal and you know, pov you're swearing your pledge of allegiance to prince charles you know i swear that i will pay true allegiance but there's also and it comes straight after prince william has just done it so the oh here it is here it is interior kitchen morning mm. Honey, this is some good coffee. Thank you. By the way, um, I swear that I will pay true allegiance to your majesty and to your, to your heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. All right, have a great day. Only member. Like what? <laughs> that kind of the only vestige of this. Actually, you know, it's, it's innovative and it's a way of including everybody. Well, I think, as you mentioned, the fact that it's also expected, and Lambeth Palace did say in their statement that all around the world, meaning in the, in the, in the various Commonwealth realms, that for me was the funniest bit. The idea of Australians sat around the barbecue at 4 a.m. Yeah, great geezers that, 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 that King Charles pledged my allegiance 100%. Kingston's in Jamaica. <laughs> Big man, Charles, <laughs> I pledge my <laughs> obedience to you and all your brethren, all your progeny, all your descendants. In it's not gonna happen <laughs> it's right it's not a game of thrones universe like this is the world this is earth right like we have twitter like no one's pledging their allegiance they're out of a waste bucket basket for him they remember the messy divorce and if they don't remember it because they're too young they've seen the crown he's not as popular <laughs> as his mother that's t like the crown represents him as sort of like a a whiny sort of snobby just sort of like annoying dude <laughs> halava that we've got going on and the crown like netflix is literally shifting the political conversation in the uk is like the uk has the crown and we have south park the the queen died he gets a real energy from the crowd and from the people that he meets He's a performer. I think he went to like drama school. And I think he would just really want the coronation not to be just about him. It's not about him as a man. It's about him. It's about the monarchy as an institution. Yeah, of course, Femi. But it's also. 
I could totally see Charles going on TikTok live. Yeah. And and the political turmoil. And what are, what are your instincts about? Yeah, the political turmoil is that everyone's paying millions of dollars to uh, a cosplaying dude. I think the monarchy is is done after Charles. I don't see how it moves forward, really. Um, but somehow it's still happening in this world. So I'm glad I could go through it with you guys and we could get some content out of it, get a little laugh out of it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe here, subscribe on Twitch, subscribe on TikTok. Uh, new videos weekly. I'm um, just kind of taking it as it comes, but I'm having a lot of fun doing these and uh, I hope you're enjoying watching them. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part was and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, let me know if there's anything specifically you want me to watch and talk about. Mm. I'm going to go gather some of my closest friends. We're going to put some crowns on our head and eat some uh, gold leaf um, pheasant. So see you. <laughs> Bye.